Hey everybody, Quentin here with Mid-South Outdoor Live. And today I'm bringing you a product spotlight video all about that awesome net right there. That's the Steve Douglas HD Monster Catfishing Net rated for 150 pound fish. And I'm gonna give you a real good look at it. So because you clicked on a video titled the Steve Douglas HD Monster Net, I'm gonna go ahead and assume that you're in the market for a new bigger, better net than what you already have. I can relate to that. So let me just go ahead and say, this is not a full review video, and this is not a sponsored video, but it is a video that's hopefully gonna help you decide whether or not you wanna turn loose of your hard-earned money on a high-end net. So most of you are probably familiar with a net like this. This is a 12-inch class net. Now it's a nice net. It is made of rubber instead of just braid. Uh, it is a fairly sturdy constru construction for small fish like bass and trout, but it's certainly not going to cut the mustard for catfish. You may also be familiar with a net like this. This is a much bigger net. Now, this is only a 16 inch class net, so it's not that much bigger as far as the, the frame size than the 12. You see, I mean, you're not, you're not talking about a gigantic difference here. The difference in volume comes in the actual net itself. So frame size is sort of similar, but the difference in volume is quite a bit. You can hold a much bigger fish in this net. However, it's still a really flimsy frame. I mean, it's really, really thin aluminum. The handle on it is 34 inches, but it's thin walled. It's not gonna hold much of a fish. Uh, it, it's certainly not going to hold up to catfish over, you know, just small channel cats. This is commonly available uh, in most big box stores uh, like Academy and Walmart. Uh, but definitely not something I'd recommend for catfishing if you're going for anything other than small channels. Uh, it's, it's just not going to do the job for you. However, this, this larger net, this is about the largest net that you're going to see in any big box store. This is indeed the largest net that's available in my local academy. This is a 26 inch net. Now, compared to this net, the frame is quite a bit bigger in all directions, but the real difference, once again, is in the volume of the actual net. You see that difference? I mean, it's, it's huge. That's a, that's a massive, massive difference. So, just in terms of volume, you can fit a lot more fish in this net. However, it's still really, really cheaply made. It's really thin walled stuff. I would assume that the walls on the frame of this net are no stronger than that last one that I showed you. The handle as well. I've actually got two of these nets. Uh, in, They've served their purpose pretty well because they are rather inexpensive. I believe I paid $39 for this net, maybe $49 at the absolute most. Um, I have caught big fish in this net. I've caught lots of uh, 30s, 40s, 50s. But here's the drawback. You know, if you, if you top out your net budget at, at this $50 price range to get this size, you're going to give up two things. You're going to give up the confidence of knowing that you can net any fish that you're likely to catch, but it's also a little weaker and you are more likely to break it. Uh, case in point, the biggest catfish I ever caught, 77 pound blue, uh, while I was bringing that fish in and dealing with everything that goes along with that, one of the big thoughts in my mind was, I don't have enough net for this fish. And I was on my boat by myself. I, you know, it was, it was kind of stressful. Uh, I got the fish in there, but it wasn't right. The fish was halfway out of this net. Even with all this, all of this volume, if I step back far enough, it just wasn't near enough for that fish. So once again, the measurement across the frame on this net is 26 inches. And then the actual net itself, the depth of the net is 36 inches. However, it being a teardrop shaped net means it's not gonna have near the volume as what I would call a bucket shaped net. I don't know the correct terminology for that, but you have to let me slide on it. 
So now that we've looked at the nets that are commonly available in your big box stores, let's take a look at the Monster HD 150. As soon as you pick up this net, you know that you've got something that's made a lot better than any of these other nets that I've shown you. It's substantially heavier. In fact, I weighed it just a few moments ago. Uh, the, the big net there from Academy weighed less than two pounds. It was like 1.7 pounds. This weighs almost four pounds, almost exactly four pounds. So about twice the weight. Now some of that is going to come in the, the coating that is on this, uh, on this net. I believe it's called HydroWeb. Uh, so some of it's going to come from that because this, this webbing is, is a lot heavier. But some of it's going to come from the handle. This handle feels very, very sturdy. I believe it's fiberglass. Uh, don't quote me on that, but I believe it is. And just overall, the construction of this net is far more substantial than any of these other nets that I've shown you. Now the measurements on this net, uh, yeah, 33 inches across versus 26. And then uh, it's a little over 48 inches deep, but it's got what I would call a, a basket shape or a, a bucket shape to it. So it's gonna hold a lot more volume. So when you compare these two, if I can step back far enough, here's your, your biggest net from Academy. And then when I bring in the monster net, you see about how much it sticks out there. So it's, it's noticeably bigger in frame size, but the real difference is going to be in the volume of the net itself. Now, I don't have a fish handy here to, to give you a comparison, but I do have something we're gonna try. Okay, so once again, we're not trying to simulate an actual fish here, but I do wanna to try to demonstrate the difference in the volume between your big box store big net and the Steve Douglas HD150. So, exercise ball. As you can see, it fills the net almost to the top. We got just a little bit of room there. And because this net is teardrop shaped, it kind of it kind of fills the net out in an awkward way, like it's kind of stretched tight at the bottom and then a little bit of room up here at the top. But this is a pretty full net with this exercise ball in here. And it barely fit through the frame. And um, as you can see, it's, it's just about to capacity. Now we'll put it in the HD 150. Okay, here we go. Exercise ball in the HD 150. Well, as you can see, nothing but net there. And we've got a lot of room left. The exercise ball does not fill up the, the bottom of the basket. There's still room left there. And then a lot of room left in the actual net itself. So, even though the frame size is not a gigantic difference, the volume of the net indeed is. So while we're on the subject of filling up, well really any net, I thought I'd take just a second to show you guys the proper way to lift a big fish once you do manage to land one in your net of choice, whether it be this one or one from the big box store. So. You fought that fish, you've got him to the boat or to the bank, and you've put that net underneath him, and he's in there. He's yours for the taking. But he's really, really heavy. Let me give you a little tip. No net made is going to hold the weight of a big catfish because they're all thin, you know, somewhat thin-walled uh, hollow aluminum. Even this heavy-duty net, it's rated for a 150-pound fish, but that does not mean that you can pick up 150 pounds like this. Do not try to lift any heavy fish straight out on the handle. Once you've got the, the fish in the net, the proper way to do it is to hold the handle straight up like this so that the frame will actually be completely vertical. There's a lot more strength that way than holding it like this. So, make this a little easier. So I've got the, the fish, is, he's in the body of the net. I can then either grab the handle, or even better, grab the frame right here. That's how I really like to do it if it's, if it's a big, heavy fish. Grab the frame and lift straight up. The net's not gonna give up if you do it that way. If you do it like this, guaranteed, you're gonna break your net if you've got a truly big fish. Once again, guys, I know this wasn't a true simulation of 
you know, putting the, the net to use out on the water. It's just that when I was in the market to buy a nice net like this, I couldn't find one in any store. So the only option was either to buy it online or wait till the catfish conference. Um, I didn't want to buy it online having never seen one and not found a video like this one that really broke down the comparisons in this net versus other nets. And uh, so I had to wait until I could see one in person at the Catfish Conference, and I wish I had had one sooner. So that's why I did the video. I hope it helped you out. Um, and I hope you'll subscribe to my channel for other videos like this in the future that may also help you. By the way, if you, like me, have a friend who's a cheapskate and won't buy a good net, maybe he shows up with that $14.99 Walmart net that wouldn't even get a three pound channel cat in the boat, or maybe, you just want to share it with him tag that friend take the link for this video put it on his Facebook page or put it on your Facebook page and tag him in it maybe he'll get the hint and he'll buy a nice net and then you won't have to because you can borrow his anyway thanks for watching one more thing before I go I want to speak directly to Steve Douglas Steve you've got a good company You've got a good brand name that people like and they're loyal to. You've got good logos, good color schemes, and you've got good products. I buy a lot of those products. One thing I've learned is you've been a cheapskate with the stickers. Again, you've got a good logo. Why not spread it around with some sticker love? This is a high dollar net. Didn't come with a single sticker. It's America. We like stickers. Give one away every now and then. None of my business, Tom.